quickly, let's look at something. A unique topic. Reservoir of life. Reservoir of life today. And I, I would like you to understand who is in charge of your life. And what mechanism that will help you to handle your life. Trust me, we will get it right now. Matthew chapter um, 12 verse 37. For by your ways you will be justified and by your ways you will be condemned. Mm. He said, for by your ways you will be justified. By your ways you will be condemned. Trust me. For the Bible says that life and death lies on the power of what? On the tongue. So, if for by your ways you will be justified and by your ways you will be condemned, what is it trying to tell you and I? And this is the mechanism that I would like you and I to understand. What mechanism will help us? The reservoir of life. Reservoir of life. What mechanism that will help us to handle this life so that we can grow from strength to strength, so that we can grow from wisdom to wisdom, so that we can grow and know that this land does not be belong to unbelievers, it belongs to believers. Jesus, those who believe in God, God has established us on this planet to execute as it is in heaven, so shall it be on this planet. And you and I has to come to that knowledge, that understanding. So we will be able to execute this life. Hallelujah. Quickly, it's, it's an interesting scenario to find yourself caught up in the hustle and bustle of life without being deeply rooted in the word of God. When we don't have a reservoir filled with the words of God within us, it's easy to fall prey to the walls of the enemy. Mwah. I'm not kissing to what he's saying. I'm kissing for you to understand that we should come close. And we should understand that we need the word of God inside of us. We need the word of God inside of us. Because it is the word of God who will help us to, to speak well. Because he says... With what? Your words, you will be justified and your words, you will be condemned. Death and life lies on our table. And it's up to us to decide on death. This is not the Holy Spirit telling you. This is up to you to decide so that the Holy Spirit will help you. Hmm. God's word is filled with truth that brings hope that never fades and love that never fall, fails. When our, our strength is falling, is failing, because God's word is alive and full of power, when we choose to believe what it says, trust it with all our heart and follow its principles. It has the ability to transform everything about us, including the circumstances around us. My beloved, this is indeed the mechanism that we need to change even the circumstances around us. You see, the word of God is sharper than two edges sword. And it is true. Guess what? It is true. See, see, it is very, very true that it's what you say will determine the next minute in your life. It is very true. What you see, the enemy does not know what is inside of you. He doesn't know what is inside of you. But one thing he knows is what you say each and every time. Sometimes I hear people, people say that even Satan go to God and ask God permission to come to your life. 
That's the word in this job life. No. This time he cannot. The moment is he supposed to go to God, he has to go through Christ because what? God said, no one comes to the Father except through me. So if you are saying that Satan have right in your life, yes, he will. But if you come to that knowledge that he does not, even for him to come to your life, he has to go through Christ before. And you know he cannot bow. God is so proud, he cannot bow to Christ. So therefore, he does not have right in your life. He does not have any weight in your life. He does not have even an inch to touch you. You are so powerful. But for you to walk in that power, lifestyle, is for you to have this mechanism, that's the word of God inside of you. And I trust that after this, you start studying, going through the word of God, to really understand how you voice out information. That's why we must we must make in we must, we, we must make investing time in the word our priority. Through the Holy Spirit, we can understand its truth, learn from its wisdom, and live in its goodness. The first, the first telltale sign of the of the word running low in our lives is through the words we speak. In words that contradict Scripture. And are filled with doubt, unbelief, and defeat will destroy our faith and power to overcome. Jesus, is what I was saying. It is this lips. The tongue is very small in our mouth, but trust me, it can kill. Your tongue can kill. Your tongue can destroy you, and your tongue. But it is true, you know it is true, because it's out of what you say, you can get a job. It's out of what you say, you can get a contract. It's out of what you say, you can preach. It's out, it's out of what you say, and that is the tongue. If your tongue is cut off, you're talking like, nobody will hear you. But as long as the tongue is inside and it's rolling, it brings voice out. And those words, that is where. It's either to the Spirit of God to react or to, to act on it, or it's either the other way. So when you talk, it's either the Spirit of God to act on it or the other way. That's why it's very crucial and it's very important that for you to reserve your life, you need to know and understand what you have to say. So pay attention to what is coming out your mouth. Your words will either condemn or justify you, depending on what you are putting into your heart. So keep that reservoir full of God's life-giving truth and life victorious. This is beautiful. This is for you and I. Myself, I'm part of it. We have to ensure that whatever we say is good for hearing. And that only will determine the future of our life. Because God did not bring us to this earth for us to be to be wavering, to us to be disturbed, for us to be, we don't know what to do. He brought us here to exhibit. His goodness. That's why he's saying that with your mouth, with your words, you shall be justified. And with your words, you shall be condemned. That means that it's out of what you say that you can prosper on this land. And I want to encourage you. Stay with the God, with the word of God. Stay with the word of God. Steady it. Learn it, trust it, believe in it, act, and you will smile always. 
That's why when you see circumstances in your life, you realize that I have the power to overcome. I have been given the strength to overcome. I have been given the power to overcome. God bless you. God increase you. His face to shine upon you. His victorious right hand to continue to be with you. And live to please Him. In Jesus' name. Amen.